Indiana looks to join 21 other states with a hands-free law. That means mm. you cannot hold your cell phone while driving. The law is now waiting for Governor Eric Holcomb to sign it, which he is expected to do. Abigail Degler has more on the law. Abigail. Indiana has a law in place already that makes texting and driving illegal, but the new law would put more restrictions on how phones can be used in cars. I would want it. I've been guilty of like text messaging while I'm driving, but technology is advanced so far. If it makes people safer, why not use it? After hearing about the prospect of the hands-free law, Jamie Landers says she's all for it and hopes it will be a push for drivers to be safer on roadways. Indiana State Police Sergeant Matt Ames says all law enforcement are looking forward to the new law and adds 3,285 deaths occurred in the state of Indiana in 2018 due to distracted driving. Moving forward, he hopes to see that number go down. There's three types of uh, uh, distracted driving. The course, there's taking your hands off the steering wheel, there's taking your eyes off the roadway, and there's cognitive where you're distracted and you're thinking about other matters. Ames says texting combines all three, making it the deadliest. Gabe Rolfus drives home from ISU often to see his parents and says distracted driving is like driving blindfolded. A few seconds is longer than it should be. And if you're on a phone call, you're just looking around and you could get caught up in the conversation and you're losing focus on the road. Ames says the average message takes four to five seconds. In that time, he says a large distance can be traveled. You think about traveling the length of a football field and all of a sudden looking up, is there a pedestrian in front of you? Is there a car that stopped in front of you? And all of a sudden you're involved in an accident and just not a property damage accident, a personal injury accident or possible fatal accident. Landers points out the citation for getting caught driving while distracted is going to cost roughly $140, making it even more important to pay attention. With our generation, money is like tight right now because a lot of us are in college, and that's a big motivator for me. If I would have to spend more money by using my phone, I would probably stop. Bluetooth is a good alternative to having your phone in your hand while driving. Ames also adds a lot of cars are already equipped with them and can make calls and text if needed.